this is the bill that says the doctor has to be present when um, administering RU486 or other uh, chemical drugs in the same family. And the Senate took away the penalties, both the criminal and civil penalties. The, the bill isn't where I would like it to be at this time. Um, I'm disappointed that the, those uh, sections were taken out. But nonetheless, I still think it's good language, and I would ask for your support. You know, I read the bill brief one more time this morning and just find real irony that there is an argument that this is a piece of legislation that is intended to support women. And we're going to support women to make sure that there's a physician in the room when the woman swallows the pill. But there will be no physician present when the abortion actually happens. She'll be on her own. So I think that there is an emptiness to the argument that this is a piece of legislation about supporting women. And I do think that there is strength in the argument that this is a piece of legislation that is about making it harder for a woman to exercise her constitutional right on reproductive health. So this is just another uh, bill that is attempting to curtail women's rights to make their own choices about their own reproductive health. And um, so even though um, I'm glad that the criminal penalties are out of it, it's still a bad bill. It's still not about women's health, and I would just urge a no vote. Well, I, I would disagree about with that. I would say this bill is about women's health. Several women have, been di have died or have been hospitalized. And this, st this does not do anything to make the drug illegal or the procedure illegal. It just simply says a doctor needs to be present if the drug is going to be administered. I don't know how that would um, be in any way a negative because it is just simply looking out for the health of the mother. How the presence of a doctor as a woman is swallowing a pill which will not take effect till um, a couple of days later has any effect on that woman's health. Just explain it so that some of us who know something about science and know something about medicine can understand it. Well, I believe this is a very dangerous drug. It causes extreme bleeding. It causes uh, many different uh, conditions in women. And the whole point is to have that doctor relationship and also the fact that I believe women need to be examined in case they are not good candidates for it. For example, if it's an ectopic pregnancy, I always have a trouble with that word, or if there's some other medical reason why this would be a particularly dangerous drug for them to take. So I, I just believe it's important that a doctor be present and give her an examination and have that patient relationship, doctor-patient relationship. It absolutely makes no sense. It is simple. A harassment and an attempt to, it is part of the attempt to denigrate women and to say that they should not have responsibility for their own health. There being 76 ayes and 47 nays, the bill is repassed as amended by the Senate and its title agreed to.